My name is Omkar Rao and I am student of Bharati Vidya Pet College of Order and Tourism Management Studies and today I am going to introduce you to the culinary tourism of Maharashtra. So let's begin. Culinary tourism in Maharashtra. Culinary tourism is a new form of tourism which is flourishing widely. The unique feature of culinary tourism in Maharashtra is it can be experienced. It cannot be seen unlike other tourism sites. Maharashtra is known for its rich history and diverse culture. Due to different climatic conditions, the state offers one of the best culinary tourism experiences in the country. Here are a few irresistible Maharashtra dishes which represent Maharashtra food at best. Pav Bhaji, Vada Pav, Puran Poli, Misar Pav, Modak, Ragda Patis, Bharli Vangi, Shrikhand, Poha, Maharashtra food classical to breakfast rescue, Sabudana Kichdi, Rassa, Solkadi, Pithali Bhakri, Amti, Bhelpuri, Basundi, Kairitsa Panha, Amras, Kadhi, Bombil or Bombidak, Maharashtra food delight for non-veggies. The following are the benefits of culinary tourism in Maharashtra. It can help boost the local economy. Sustainable tourism is ensured through culinary tourism. It stands for culinary legacy of destination. These parts will make it possible to consistently promote anything from tiny farms and homestays to neighborhood restaurants and well-known eateries. It helps in the promotion of regional cultural practices. The disadvantages of culinary tourism in Maharashtra. Sometimes, communi sometimes communities can face loss of cultural identity, lack of job opportunities, lack of infrastructure development, maintaining a culinary tourism food market can be a bit expensive. It can cause a strain on natural resources. Income dependency on tourism may result into income fluctuation. Maharashtra is an ideal state for culinary tourism in Maharashtra. The future of culinary tourism is bright in India. Tourists have the opportunity to create meals on their own and experience a taste of different culture. Thank you.